Good morning. So I wanted to ask you a question this morning. Um, do you think you're an active participant in your relationship right now? Or do you think you've turned into an accountant? And that might seem like a funny question. Um, if you go and talk to any of your friends, or the people you know at the moment, I would say there's a pretty good chance they will give you a list of things that they're partner in their intimate relationship whether it's a you know man or a woman um what they're doing that they really like uh, but they'll probably tell you the things that they're doing that really annoy them and the reason i brought up the accounting reference is for in businesses you know accountants get hired to track the um incoming and outgoing of a business so that you know whether it's working or not working and it becomes about like if you put enough money into the business and you make, let's just say, less withdrawals, then you've got money in the bank. And that's a good business model. For a lot of people in relationships now, they're looking at it the same way. Like if you do enough nice things for me, then I'll be happy. If you do enough nice things for me or if you do enough things for me in the way that I want them done, then I'll be happy and I'll reward you. But what it does is it... it it gives away all of your power. Like the, it gives your power away to that other person like they control your happiness. And that's where you lose everything in it. And I just wanted to record this this morning to talk about that because there have been so many people I've been talking to over the last while and I was definitely a culprit of this in the past of looking for my special person to do things for me that would make me happy but not being okay on my own you know like there there like like there was something that i needed to be with that person to be happy but if i was with that person and they don't behave in a way i think they should then that had an impact on my happiness or my state of mind and that was um that was a lot of pressure to put on the other person that I'm in a relationship with. And it's really not a good idea to just give that away to somebody else and not be responsible for whether I'm content or not, or whether I'm happy in the relationship, or whether things that they do get to dictate how I feel. And... It's been an interesting year for me uh, so far in 2019. And the reason I say that is because there's been certain pieces that have come up for me in my relationship, in business, in lots of things that have really got me thinking about this. And on a very, very basic level, my life isn't going to work out the way I want it to if I give that power away to external things happening and that dictating how I feel. So giving my state of mind away based on some semantics that I hope will work out. Like if my girlfriend, my wife, my fiance, if that person does this specific thing for me, then everything's okay. Instead of really getting responsible and digging in and going through the BS layers that are there on top of things and coming out the other side like I'm one really really solid dude and I'm content and I'm happy and I would love to spend some time with that person because she's important to me that's very very different than I'm not feeling great today and I hope that if I go and hang out with this person they'll make me happy and it, and it just puts too much pressure on the relationship um, so on a basic level, you know, look around and look at what you're doing today. And when you look at that person who's really, really important to you and you want to spend a lot of time with, ask yourself the question, are you putting too much emphasis on them over there? What if you could actually set things up in a way that you get to be happy and excited 
and like really, really looking forward to the life that you have and then you can go and share it with that person. Wouldn't that be a change? So think about that one for today. Talk soon.